yeah. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's just another opportunity uh, to go out there and just show the world who we are, you know, and that's what we plan on doing. If DeMar happens to be on the field, have you thought about what that conversation might be like between you and he? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just going to, you know, just laugh, chalk it up, laughs and giggles, you know, um, and, you know, just going to be happy to see him. Do you hope to see him up there? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure, man. You know, hopefully, you know, talk to him a little bit and, you know, just chop it up a little. You only played like nine minutes in that game. Is there anything you take away from that film, or is it just kind of a completely different game plan going Man, game? that was, yeah, it was just, you know, nine minutes. It's not really much you can go and watch, but, um, you know, like I said earlier, it's just another opportunity to go out there and just be who we are and show the world what we can do. Is it nice having prepared for them and not having showed them? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's nice, you know, having, you know, you can go back and, you know, go over some of the plays that we had, you know, game plan for them, you know, the first time. But, and so, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. What makes John so special in the playoffs? He's not going to quit. Uh, he got that poise. Even when we down, he, he's going to come in the locker room and, you know, give us that, that let's do it, you know what I'm saying, and go out there and go win the game. From a betting line standpoint, you guys are underdogs this week. Joe said he never feels like Joe Burrow, but he never feels like an underdog. Do you? I don't really care about all that. As long as we go out there and just execute and be who we are, we show the world. We ain't no underdogs. Is it, do you enjoy playing a team that you've never played before? Do you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, where it's one thing to watch you guys on film, but to actually go up against you physically is a little different? Um, I mean, yeah. But at the end of the day, we we haven't played against them as well, so they can they can change up some stuff that they've been doing on film that we've been watching. So at the end, it's a win it's a win lose, you know what I'm saying? So. What sticks out about Jordan Boyer and other guys in that secondary on film? Man, guys, talented, flying around, well coached. You know, um, I mean, they one of the top defense in the league for a reason. So. You've obviously known Jackson for a long time. How do yeah. you see him respond this week? Man, he, you know, he's been preparing well like like he's been starting all year and you know I talked to him today actually it was like man your opportunity's here go out there make the best of it and show him why you belong so proud of him and you know excited for him to play excited to see him play what do you remember the most about that Kansas City game last year because this could be a very similar environment in terms of the noise to be honest some of my catches at the end that's being honest. That's what I remember most. You know, some of those big catches I made at the end. Um, got another opportunity to do it this week, and you know, just hopefully I can go out there and do the same. Why, why do you look forward to these big moments so much? I mean, uh, I've been playing the big moments my whole career, dating back to college. You know, uh, playing those national championship games. So I mean, just gotta go in this game with confidence and, and be who I am at the end of the day. Speaking of confidence, when you had a smile on your face when you talked about this catch in Kansas City, you know, having good games like that in the playoffs, how much confidence does that give you for, for this going around in Buffalo? Man, the the utmost confidence, you know, um, going in and just knowing that no, I can't be stopped. Um, that's my mindset every single time going into a game. So.